stung by this, you can do that. And originally in the film it was you just put pills in it and then I said, well, this guy does all this stuff with like rubbing herbs together and putting spit in it because apparently and, she was, and they were like, great, use it. Like, and so there's a sort of wonderful thing by which you're allowed, she's written it all and it's all, but you, she also allows you a freedom to play within it. Yeah. Um, well, I, I imagine you also maybe got to, um, it's an interesting idea. You guys are developing your own characters, but she still holds the cards. She knows things that you don't know yet about what's gonna happen. So, uh, were there ever conversations you had where you said, JK, Joe, like slip, slip me a detail, fill in a blank. Did she ever fill in some blanks for you? Well, you know, she came to set one day, it was the first time I met her, and we all kind of, like, we were possessed, walked away from whatever it was we were doing, and just kind of went right up to her and started staring at her. We, like, completely surrounded her, the four of us. And, um, I wanted to ask her loads of things, but I was scared to. And we, so we sort of chatted, and she said she was so happy it was all happening, and we all just kind of, like, nodded and smiled and drooled, and, like, I mean, it was just ridiculous. And then... What happened was that she, she we, we were chatting and stuff, and she couldn't take it anymore. Like, she couldn't keep quiet. She couldn't we keep the ask, secrets. We didn't, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't ask, I don't, think we, I don't think we initiated it. She said, okay, well, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but that just was one thing. And then she'd just go into it. And she gave us all some really exciting details about the next film, but like, I don't know, I mean, when she said we were doing five, that was news to us. Too. We didn't know. So there's so much that we're not privy to. I, I was going to ask, you know, well, yeah, was, was that a shock to you? And could you sort of see, um, now that you know it's not just three films, but five, minimum, maybe. Who knows? That's not, I, that's just me. Um, could you maybe now, knowing what you know about this, the first film, sort of see the five now? Could you kind of think through two and two through five and think, oh yeah, I can, maybe I have my guesses about, about why, about why it was, it was bumped up. Um, well, the thing is, is that it, it's her imagination. She has such a passion for it and a specific story that she wants to tell. And we get glimpses into that. And as Catherine said, it's like insanely exhilarating when that happens. But I think, you know, Fantastic Beasts, that the title and Newt and his creatures are a way into this world, but there's a much bigger story here about good versus evil that she wants to tell. And it's, 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 it's not, you haven't seen much of it in the trailers and the clips of the film, but it's really at the core of the story that, that, that she's telling, and it has an epic, epic quality to it, in which I think Newt's case and then these four creatures become the conduit into it. So I do, do see that it's a macro story that could take more time. Yeah.